Welcome to Glass Technologies Maxim training video. Prior to repairing the glass, inspect the exterior of the glass as well as the interior of the glass. Make sure the repair has not penetrated the interior layer of glass. If the interior layer of glass has been damaged, consult your customer on the best means of replacement using an AGTI or NGA certified replacement technician. Use the sharp end of your probe to remove any loose debris from the center of the brake. Follow this by checking the temperature of the glass. The glass should be room temperature. To ensure proper use of your Maxim machine, insert the fuse into the fuse holder and reattach it to the machine. Use the 12 volt charger and plug it into the lamp slash charger outlet on your Maxim machine. The 12 volt dry star tool can also be used in conjunction with the Maxim using the lamp slash charger outlet to remove any moisture or water from the repair. When using the 12 volt drill, plug it into the drill outlet on the Maxim machine. The Maxim comes with a drill speed adjustment for optimal performance during the drilling process. If there is not a clear access point to the center of the brake, utilize the low speed on your drill to create an access point. Note you should only have to drill into the glass approximately a sixteenth of an inch. Now it's time to attach the bridge to the windshield. Apply a small amount of suction cup lube to the bridge. Make sure the two black leveling screws are threaded completely up into the bridge before seating it on the glass. Start by adding the mirror to the inside of the glass directly over the brake. This will allow you to see the brake during the repair process. Now screw the injector into the bridge. The prism injector should be screwed in until it touches the glass, followed by two additional turns. The side chamber should be at 6 o'clock. Twist the two black leveling screws down until the white seal at the end of the prism injector is uniformly seated on the glass. Be sure to use your mirror while leveling. A properly aligned injector should be horizontally as well as vertically perpendicularly aligned to the glass. Once the injector is properly aligned, add six drops of diamond clear resin into the prism side chamber. Consult your training manual for appropriate resin use based on temperature. Now reinsert the prism side chamber back into the injector. Now that the side chamber has been placed back into the injector, lock it by turning clockwise or counterclockwise. Attach the vacuum pressure hose to the maximum as well as to the injector. Apply a dry vacuum for one minute. While on vacuum, rotate the prism injector 180 degrees so the side chamber is now at 12 o'clock. This will allow the resin to drain into the repair. Let the resin drain for approximately one minute. Once the resin is drained, we are now ready to start our first pressure cycle. Apply 30 to 40 pounds of pressure to the injector and let it sit for approximately two minutes. If the brake does not fill completely, you can utilize the blunt side of your probe to flex the glass, allowing the resin to fill the brake completely. While flexing, make sure that the blunt side of the probe is seated against the bottom of the injector.
Now that the break is filled, remove the mirror from the inside of the glass. Attach the UV curing lamp to the lamp slash charger outlet on the Maxim machine. Once the break is completely filled, you can utilize the UV curing lamp to cure the break under pressure. You should cure under pressure for approximately two minutes. Now remove the UV curing lamp and disconnect the hose from the prism injector. Now we can remove the bridge and injector from the glass. Lift the suction cup off the glass to remove the equipment. Apply two to three drops of Glass Technologies Diamond Clear Pit Filler to the surface of the brake, followed by a one inch strip of pit tape or pit square. Reapply Glass Technologies UV curing lamp to the brake and allow it to cure for approximately three minutes. After three minutes of curing, remove your UV lamp from the glass. Remove the pit tape or pit square from the glass. Utilizing a razor blade, scrape any excess resin off the surface of the glass until the glass is smooth. Using a glass cleaner and a paper towel, clean the area around the break. Now it's time to polish the repair. Use the pit gloss and apply a small amount to the surface of the glass. Utilize a paper towel or the pit polishing wheel that's supplied in your kit to polish the surface in and around the pit area. When you are finished polishing, clean the area in and around the surface of the brake. Thank you for watching Glass Technologies Maxim training video. With these tips in your practice, you can achieve the highest quality results in the industry.